Power supplies for your Raspberry Pi. It, this has come up quite a lot, actually. Um, the reality is, it, it fits into this little guy here. This little uh, micro USB slot. Um, it's the same as what you would get on a Kindle. It's the same size as you would get on your Samsung mobile phones. It's a standard power inlet. Um, now, this is where things change slightly. On the the first uh, Raspberry Pis, the uh, zero and the one, it used less voltage, um, less less current, should I say, not voltage. Um, the Raspberry Pi 2 uses more. Uh, the 0 and 1, I believe, was 500 milliamps, where the 2 uses about 700 milliamps. Doesn't sound a lot, but when you plug your USB cable into your laptop or your PC and then decide to power it off that, you may find that it will switch on, but after a while, or you plug in a keyboard or a mouse or something, it stops working because there basically isn't enough power in the system. Um, it's also, I'd say, not very good for your laptop PC because obviously the thing wants more power than you can provide it. Um, so ideally, you want to get yourself a power supply. Now, these ones are chargers. Uh, sorry, this is this is the, this is a charger. Not a power supply. <laughs> um, if you go to the website, the Raspberry Pi, you can actually buy a charger, uh, a power supply, uh, for about five pounds, which is pretty cheap anyway. But what I'm going to do is actually use my Samsung. This obviously it's a genuine Samsung uh, phone charger. Why am I using this? Well, the fact is, it's 2 amps. So, you know I said it needed 0 0.7. This is actually 2. So, it's 2,000. So, instead of being 0 0.7, it's actually 2.0. And that's the easiest way of describing it. Uh, the voltage on the Raspberry Pi is 5 volts, by the way. If that drops below, I think it's 4.5, you start having problems. It starts rebooting and other issues. So... You want something that is regulated to 5 volts and ideally can push up to 2 amps. So you ain't really going to need anything more than that. Um, ideally, I would say just go with a 2 amp uh, power supply. Or do what I'm about to do, which is use a 2 amp charger. Power supplies I'd probably go with long term. Because uh, obviously chargers aren't supposed to run 24-7 uh, generally. Uh, where power supply you might find it's got heat sink and stuff. So that if you're running it long term it's not going to burn out or get damaged. Where these may do if it's running all the time. Because obviously you charge your phone, you switch it off. So it's just something to consider. Would I use a cheaper one? Like a Chinese import? Um, for computers, unless I actually knew the, the brand, I'd probably go no. Uh, that's, that's basically because I spent time out in the Philippines where I've seen how substandard things can get to skimp on money. Where, you know, like the, the wire here could actually be thinner just to save a bit of cash, but then it burns out. And if it gets too, well, basically if it gets too hot because it's too thin, it then starts to burn through, and then you get an electrical short, which could cause an, a potential risk of an electrical fire. So that's why I say spend a little bit of money. Come on, it's not expensive to buy cables, um, and it's something that you'll use over and over again. But also, do you really want the risk of an electrical fire because you're a bit thrifty? So ideally, you want 2 amp. These are 2 amp. These are way you check. If you're looking for the output, I don't know if you can read that on the side, probably not. Um, you're looking for the output, not the input, because the input is pretty obvious that's the power out of your socket. The output is what it will provide along the cable and come out here, which is basically going to keep the Raspberry Pi happy, get him up and working, and 
I hope that helps because I know it's been one of those things a lot of people are asking questions about and not sure. What about if it's more than? Um, as long as it's regulated, it's not going to pump too much ampage up there anyway. Uh, it's only going to draw what it needs. So it's not going to suddenly get a surge of power going through it unless you got hit, the whole house got hit by lightning, for example. Then you probably find every electrical device in the house is fried with it. Um, not because of the, <laughs> the charger, but because the uh, electrical uh, current coming down through your antenna or whatever got hit by lightning has decided it wants ground and it's looking for it and goes through everything. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.